So there is clearly a lot of space to improvement. I think that's one thing is very important to understand. Many, many people feel like, I'm, I'm not quite OK. You know, I, especially in relationships, if one person trying to tell you you have to change, right? And then you, what do you feel? You say, no. And some people say, people, this, 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 this line that people use sometimes in relationship is always interesting, accept me as who I am. What does that mean? Have you ever, have, have, have somebody ever said to you that? Did you ask what does that mean? <laughs> Interesting, right? I don't know if people think about what actually that means. But, but some sense, I guess, I mean, you can interpret good, uh, kind interpretation or <laughs> one way probably saying, I'm not going to change. So then what are you doing here? Right? right? If you don't want to change, you don't go to the retreat. You don't go to the therapist. You, know? you don't read. Your senses has no much, much function. Your mind has no function. Because everything, what you're perceiving, if you're not learning anything from them, then what is the purpose of existence? So, I mean, the whole idea of accept me as I am, it seems like a totally mistaken Seems like a totally is not the right thing to say. You can say, accept me as who I am right now, I will work on changing myself. <laughs> but give me time. Right? And of course, that means that means both sides, not one side. That's how people grow. Or if that's how people help grow each other. And a good relationship, is that's what it is, that people help each other to grow. And nobody claims to be perfect. You know? If you are perfect, you are in the wrong place. Right? Samsara is the wrong place for perfect people. 